Well, the day before the president visits the Phoenix VA, the Veterans Affairs Secretary takes some time to meet with whistleblowers. And he makes a promise to one of them he's been waiting a long time to hear. ABC 15 Sarah Goldenberg is joining us live now. And Sarah, how did these meetings go? Well, both uh, Dr. Catherine Mitchell and Brandon Coleman called the meetings productive. They say they were honored to meet the VA secretary to discuss their concerns, and he took them very seriously. Now, Brandon Coleman has now been on paid leave from the Phoenix VA for over 40 days since speaking out. He met with VA Secretary Robert McDonald one on one today and says he seemed eager to listen. McDonald said he won't tolerate retaliation against whistleblowers, and in Brandon's case, he promised he'd purchase. Personally, tried to figure out what was happening. Now, Brandon even gave him his own cell phone number. The reason for the meeting was uh, so we, he and I, could make sure we were on the same page in moving forward, and I, I feel like that was accomplished today. Brandon and the VA secretary also discussed ideas to stop retaliation against employees like him who speak out. And the secretary asked Brandon to come up with a proposal on that for him to take a look at. Now, the VA secretary meets with the president tomorrow here in Phoenix. We've learned the president will be holding a round table with veterans, members of Congress, and senators, including Senators McCain and Flake, and Representative Cinema and Gallego. Yeah, hopefully, some of these whistleblowers finally feel like they're being heard here. It's been in a long time. Thanks, Sarah. One of our state's most well-known veterans is weighing in on the president's visit. I talked with former county attorney Rick Romley today. Romley was wounded in combat in Vietnam and has often sought treatment at the VA. The Republican says despite the criticism of the president, he believes the VA is moving in the right direction. Do you think this is a president who gets it? You can't have a national reaction by literally hundreds of millions of Americans be outraged at what has happened inside of the VA without getting it. Romley wants to see more private partnerships with the VA. He believes letting vets go outside the system will reduce wait times and overall improve the quality of care. He also wants to see a greater focus on mental health issues, including suicide. Remember to stay with ABC 15 for complete coverage of tomorrow's presidential visit, starting with ABC 15 mornings and online on ABC15.com.